make his first court appearance tomorrow. As the morning continues for one Bluffton teenager shot and killed earlier this month, another teenager who was hurt in that incident is back home. News 3's Andrew Davis is in our Low Country newsroom with what that family, the family of Edwin Graham, is saying tonight. Words cannot express the love and gratitude felt from the outpouring of community support. That's how Vicki Field starts her online statement about her son, EJ. Edwin EJ Graham was shot back on March 6 while riding in a car with two other teens on Bluffton Parkway. Dwan DJ Fields was driving that car. He died at the scene. Vicki Field says EJ was released from the hospital this week and that she and DJ's mother and father had to tell him his cousin, who he loved like a brother, died and that he was heartbroken. Field says the next days and weeks to come will be difficult, but asks that no one visit EJ because of the, quote, fragile state of his health and that everyone keep all the families involved in their prayers. A GoFundMe has been set up for EJ Graham, and it's raised more than $27,000 to help him pay for his medical bills. There's also a GoFundMe for the family of DJ Fields and a future scholarship fund in his name. So far, four people have been arrested in connection with the shooting. Two of those suspects are charged with murder. Bluffton police say the investigation into what exactly happened that night is continuing and more arrests are possible. If you know anything about that night, call the Bluffton police tip line at 843-706-4560. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you.